Hello again, Dean here from Leicestershire Reptile Rescue. Now I'll give you quite a crappy intro, but bear with me people because it is my first time. Now working with big snakes, I tend to lightly miss boa constrictors just to try and keep the humidity levels up. Um, running a rescue is not easy these days, especially when pet shops will sell absolutely anything just so they can get rid of of their animals but with us a lot of these reptiles are rescued in through us um, we get calls from a lot of the locals local people local authorities councils the RSPCA and what we tend to do is we'll go out and assess an animal or I'll make the initial assessment with the team of volunteers I've got. Um, and then we'll take them in. When they get back here to my rescue, I'll do an initial assessment on them. Which again will entail the profile of the, of the reptile. Um, the handling needs, the diet, diet, dietary requirements, that sort of thing. But about two or three times a day, I give them a light mist. Obviously, you know, we're not like most of these big, big shit hot people on YouTube that have misters and everything else. I mean, I am a charity which I created myself from a, from a little bedroom. Um, it just makes me laugh that, you know, we haven't got the high tech equipment, but we do do our best in, you know, in catering for the animals' needs. We have been inspected and passed. This lady here is my female pastel, 100%. Go on. Female pastel, 100%. She's quite aggressive, this one. She's never bitten me, but she bit one of my volunteers today. She came in pregnant. She's under a heat bulb. As you can see, she's quite fiery. So I tend to mist her, let her know that I'm misting her. Just so we can keep them moist, quite nice. Um, you may be looking at my substrate and how I've done it. I tend to put in newspaper and stick it down. And the reason why I do stick it down is so that none of my animals can actually get under. Should any of my bulbs go, then we've got emergency heat mats. And they can't get under the paper to burn themselves if there is a heat mat under there. I mean, through family members, friends, etc., we do they do make donations towards what I do. It's not a very easy job to do, but I provide a service to locals and uh, keep these animals until we find a nice home. And come here, what's that? It's all right. And you know, I find suitable homes. Anyone that wishes to adopt, what I tend to do is um, vet the homes, create profiles, take the new adoptees information, so they stay on my books for about two, two or so months. Um, after the two months is up, they can still sort of, you know obtain certain things uh, they can get free help for advice we have a we have a very own vet which is a fully qualified vet so uh, just doing initial checks of uh, some of the animals obviously we've got bigger rescues but these animals in here are the ones that you know need the most the most care uh, through abuse neglect it could be absolutely a whole number of reasons there's one of my young ladies carolina red Gorgeous little girl. Obviously, in this viv stack, which is what my brother built me, um, what happens is um, all this wood that you see has been treated, pressed, and sterilised. Um, later on in some of the channels, what I'll do is I'll show you um, some some of the most poorliest bearded dragons we actually have, um, and I'll, I'll take you through step by step about that and you know neglect what people do to these animals.